relationship wise now. <laughs> yeah, and ready for you know my business, you know. Yeah, we know business oh, no. now. He started music now, he had a he have a boyfriend now. We do music also. And it just seemed like that song was a counter action. <laughs> <laughs> a bugle me a talk about to the people. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's one and two words in other things yeah. sometimes. Because sometimes you have to put some people in them place. Yeah. Them just go around and go sleep with any little bitch. Oh. Any little careless girl. Yeah. You have cocky for half class. <laughs> Alright, which, which female artist you have a crush on? Let's be realistic. No? Let's be... Make we keep it distant. Which female artist may have a crush on? Yeah, have a little thing for... Hmm, nothing but I wonder. Yeah, I feel like I you, you know. <laughs> I rain civil me have a crush on her. Okay? okay we come okay. out in the public now. Hell the time protection. Mm. Alright. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Inside the Music. I'm your host, G C B and we're here with the beautiful Seckle Dung Body. Rain Seville. That's right. Second long body, what you been up to? <laughs> well, I'm boss. Been working. Because this usual. whole corona thing kind of, you know, it kind of limit our thing right now. Yeah. So I've been doing a lot of recordings and videos. Definitely. We'll start from scratch now. Of course. From your upbringing. Where are you from? I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah. Born to parents, Royal Civil and Claudette Civil. You know, the, the basic new, uh, the nuclear family that we have both parents and the child. Yeah, and they're yeah, married. Yeah, uh, yeah, married and everything. But my father passed on when I was seven. So, you know, mommy been doing our thing with me from that. And she did a great job. Growing up in Kingston, how was that? It was good. You know, I was one of those fortunate kids, I would say. I mean, I grew up very wealthy, but I definitely grew up far from poor. Okay. You understand? And my mother gave me basically whatever I wanted. Once it wasn't harmful, of course. Was a silver spoon or a gold? Um... <laughs> I would say silver spoon still, you know, because certain things she disciplined me with and whatever. But, you know, she did her best. I grown in a home like that then. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't think that the child would want to become up an artist. So what was your first? When you say, what you want to be when you grow up? What was the first thing? That what make you say that now? Why, why? No, most parents, no. Middle cl- class parents. Right. Don't see their k- kids growing up to be an artist. I remember artists are more of a rural Okay. You understand? It, it majority of the artists them tend to be like from what? Like ghetto areas ghetto or Ghetto areas and okay. rural and country. And okay. All yeah. right. Fine. I understand what you're saying now. What was your f- first dream then for the way when you grew up? It was always music. It was always music. Because guess what? My father was musical. Okay. He was very great on the guitar and he was a wonderful singer. Okay. You understand? And my mother also grew up in a choir. So I have that musical background. So music was embedded in you from always uh, tender stage. Always. School days, no. What school you attended? <laughs> I went to St. Richard's Primary, yeah. right upon Red Hills, there, so. yeah. And then we move on from there to Walmart's High School for Girls. Yeah. Big up all old Marians, Age Kodagis. And then I went on to the University of Technology you now, mm-hmm. where I have my degree in marketing and international business. Okay, so where you find time for to do music? Um, while going to UTEC, yeah. I was going to Edna Manley also. You okay. familiar with there? Yes. It's a visual arts school, you know. So I was going there part time doing piano lessons and vocal lessons. Okay. You understand? And then, but mommy said, listen, if you really want to do this music thing, come and say you really love it. Yeah, I forgot through school. Yeah, I forgot through university and everything. And I said, all right, fair enough. So it was give and take. It's like yeah. you do this and you right. pursue your dream. You of understand? Doing the music. And I, you know, I did my marketing at UTEC and love it easy because the music industry is a business, you know. Definitely. So you understand the marketing helped me out a lot with my music career. So I did that, got my degree, and then pursued music right after. Right after UTEC. Yeah. It's a music. So yep. it was your first. Time in the studio now. Are you always going to studio from before, <laughs> from school days? Um, I went to studio one and two times before actually pursuing it professionally. Um, but I didn't take it up seriously because mommy never wanted to distract from work, from school work. Okay. You understand? So right. Yes. Yeah, so I never do it at probably one or two times. But it was really after graduating from UTEC now, I went like it was just a matter of right timing because right after you take a met sirani from dasika okay. you understand and 
him asked me for be a part of them team and thing and that was my first time officially in studio okay how was that what was that like now that was oh. it was exciting but intimidating because yeah. you know said that's sake of them are one of the most prominent producers them um, you understand and siran is very serious about him work so going in studio with with him was exciting as me say mm -hmm. i gave god thanks for that opportunity but at the same time i did nervous because on a light me did have the experience prior to that you remember the first song is your song of course. <laughs> Give me your piece right now. Boy, you drive me crazy. Always entertain me. And I will never let you go. Yeah. What a voice. Thank you. What a <laughs> voice. We're going to see more of that type of music coming from you. Um, I started out with that type of music initially. Yeah. But to be honest... I don't know if it's because it's a Jamaican market. You know, they're more, what should I say, receptive mm -hmm. of like straight dancehall or more the sing -J, DJ kind of stuff. So I, tr I made the transition eventually and I noticed that I would get more traction for my music that was more sing -J, DJ. Okay. So I guess that's why I decided to do more of those. But the singing is definitely the number one love though. Yeah. yeah Can not tell, Kaya, from your heart when you're singing yeah man and remember you know we do edna manley mm -hmm. edna manley a straight singing and the key and the vocals are on point definitely so yeah so now you, you link up with that seeker mm -hmm. and you start record some songs now what was the reception you was got you was getting in the early stage um in the early stage everybody was excited well the people around me i should say the was excited yeah yeah very excited so you know for support rain, that you know yeah that's true you know say all right rain you know our, our dream a uh, start off you know you know it's a good look um of course you have the enemies them you have the haters them you have someone like who says oh she not have no talent she can't sing you have all of that but um for the most part it was it was exciting and it felt good okay to start the journey the journey started at a tender age it seems so um it depends on where you call tender age. Yeah, I, started right at, I started at 22. Yeah, that tender. Mm -hmm. Tender age. That yeah. You understand? Right after college, you start yeah. pursuing music. Yeah. Now you say, oh, go get a job at 9 to 5. Yeah. But you said music and you stuck with it. Right. Of course. You, did you like that decision? Of course. Okay. Love that decision because that decision, through that decision, I experienced being an ambassador for Pepsi. Yeah. Which is one of the biggest brands. But you're you sexy. Know. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I had my contract with Pepsi at one point. Through my talent, I through my talent, I went all over the world. You know, there are still some places I haven't gone as yet, but I went to places like all over the U.S., Philadelphia, Washington, Miami, New York. You mentioned all of those Caribbeans like Saint Croix, Barbados, Bahamas. Um, Canada. I haven't been to England side yet, but you know, that's a good feeling. People see after all corona, over the world. After Corona, England look out for Rain Seville. Cause exactly. She's she going with herself and she had do some <laughs> big promotions and yeah. she's here right now, so you know so she's serious about her career. Of course, me go on with myself. She's always been serious with the career. Always been. Yes. Alright, when you get a first song now where you really start here on the radio now, which song was that? Uh, for me? Yeah. Um, I'd say the one that that may get the most recognition for the most rotation is Mad Dem. Second body as most people call it. Mad Dem it name. Mad Dem. <laughs> yeah, that song like that song would play left, right, center upon the ri some people wonder if I pay me did pay for get it played. I'm like, yeah, no, the people them song. just the people them just love the song and take on to the song. The video was in heavy rotation. I yeah. feel like I feel like that song was controversial. <laughs> That's why it was I wonder played. why you feel so. I feel like that song was a controversial song. I wonder why I feel so. Who may not know? <laughs> you started music now, you had a you have a boyfriend now. We do music also. You know what I talk about that? So, and he had a song. Mm. 
and it just seemed like that song was a counter action. <laughs> a bugle me a talk about to the people. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, yeah, are you a talk? Are you a talk? Yeah, I'm so just sing my song. When bugle have him song, I say, how it go again? You know it better than I don't, you know? I don't know it. You know, you know the I song. I don't know it. All the lyrics go to that song I again. Somebody help me now. I don't know it. Me so remember it. But anyway. Yeah. Was it, a co- was, it, was it a, a counteraction counter to that action. song? Yeah. No, it was just a song about me being sexy and confident and I do my thing and me represent for the girl and we're confident and sexy and have the second on body. Yeah. But, but yeah, you know, you dash one and two words in the thing yeah. sometimes because sometimes you have to put some people in them place. Right after that song, it was released. And yeah. Sometimes you have to make some people understand themselves. You understand? So, yeah. Yeah. You're confident and you do your thing and just go through and the girl them love it and the girl them cheer feet and the distract them love it and cheer feet and play it. And it was a good, good song, good rotation, <laughs> and the video was nice, sexy. Yes. You understand? Big up to Rati TV. He directed that one. Okay, Rati TV. Big up yourself. Mm-hmm. Come on, Pelpa TV. Yes. yes <laughs> All right. After that song, got this rotation, and every rotation, every radio station, and right now, you know, you have said to yourself, say, I hate this, you know. Mm-hmm. I eat this. How was it, like, with shows now, and getting shows? I want to tell you, said, that's when that song um brought my career to another level yeah i started getting more shows more traveling it was after that me get the whole pepsi contract so you know i was doing some tours with them um a lot of producers like top producers were recording me um right after that so you know it was a good it was a good build up definitely yeah man good build up well, good song for start a career with cause <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it, well, it draw a lot of attention. Yeah, well, the, the career never start with that song still, no. but you yeah, understand that the, the song really, yeah, that, that song really made Rain Civil more known and more out there. What was the follow up song from that song? The follow up song was, m- I had a lot. I had one called Why Would You. That was one of my favorite songs that um, UIM, Andrew Black's them. Yeah. They produced that one because the video came out right after my them. Um, I had a couple more with JJ Wiz them also. Big up yourself, JJ Wiz. I'm my real friend that. All the time, you JJ. Know, um, there were a couple. A couple of them. Wally. Name a few. All right. So we have Why Would You. Yeah. We have Bones With It. We have Top Class, where JJ was a produce. Mm-hmm. We have um, No Clue, where ZJ Liquid produce. Um, yeah, those are the ones I remember right now. Them songs that they're going to. I remember a few of those songs. Yeah. You had some nice video for them, too. Yes. Yeah, it seems like you always video songs. Is that is that a strategy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't video every song. The one that I mentioned for ZJ Liquid, I didn't um, video that one. Okay. But it, it got rotation. Because you don't know ZJ Liquid is a prominent DJ. So he got the support, you know, from a lot of the disc jocks. Um, but it is a good strategy. It, it is a good promotional avenue videos. Because people might hear the voice, but don't necessarily know the face. So the more them seeing visuals, yeah. is the more them will recognize the face. You understand? So how how mommy been since all uh, the exposure? And she says her daughter, really I do. What she said out to do? Um, well, yeah, have our time, you have the times when she's fearful. Yeah. Because, like, it, when we did have the whole controversy and mix-up going on, um, she liked the exposure that I was getting, but she was also fearful of it. Yeah. Because you had people who were negative. Okay. You have people who just did determined for be haters and determined for fight me down and determined for, you know, just be negative. So she, she was fearful of that part of it. But then when she also saw the love and the traction and, you know, the money from the opportunities where did I come when she saw that she she felt good about that yeah mommy must feel good of when course and she go fearful at the same time cause yeah come here daughter you understand her baby right her baby <laughs> she don't want her baby go they go be harmed or anything what, like did that did you feel any type of way in in a when he was getting haters and everything like, like probably never used to getting hated because sometimes in a music you know yeah at the first time you're gonna start get bad comments yes you understand you probably all your life you've never got a bad comment start the music 
you start to people I say this and say that. So how was that? How did you go through that? Well, as I said, from the get-go, you had people out there who weren't fans of Rain Civil, which is fine. You understand? But um, during the whole controversial time, it was worse. Yeah. It got worse. And I'm not going to lie, blood run through my vein like everybody else. There what were used to say? There were hurtful comments. Um, a lot of lies. A lot of lies. I'm not even go go go. I'm not going to justify them by bringing them, putting them out of my mouth. You understand? But yeah. a lot of lies were told. A lot of people tried to hold me back and it couldn't work. Couldn't because work. when you bless, you just bless. You understand? And um, it did hurtful. But when I see the love, when I go up on my social media pages and see how people love me and support me, when I go to the stage show them and see how people are cheer for me, I say, no man, I have to do this. I have to do this. If I know for myself, may I do it for them. Okay, definitely. Yeah. You also have a daughter. Yes. And she likes to love music also. <laughs> yes, she does. Because she she you always post her on your page. Yeah. You see her singing. She seems very intelligent. She she is very intelligent. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> she will never meet her in person. Yeah, me no, me no, man. You so me just a, a, yeah. I confirm, say, yeah, she is very intelligent. You so know, she, she got to Immaculate Prep. Her name is Layla Ray. Yeah. Yeah, she's now nine. Next month she's gonna be ten. She love the music, but the focus is schoolwork right now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, understand. But I still let her do her cause she do her one and two commercials them, like for Grace, for True Juice, for National Bakery, for J and Bank. She do a couple of those stuff. Definitely. You understand but the focus is school right now. I grew more right. Man. Yes. Groomer. My groomer from early if I have the confidence and not be fearful, you know. But you started out doing music before she was even born. So how was that time period when your pregnancy and you, had, you probably had to s slow down with music and all of that? Yeah, I started, I actually came in the business one year before getting pregnant. Okay. And, um... But I want to tell you that even during my pregnancy, I was working. I was doing the RETV school tour, but a lot of people didn't know. The eye the belly. Yeah, yeah, you because I, 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 me never <laughs> start <laughs> <laughs> I never start showing until I was like seven months. Okay. So it was very easy to do. Um, you know, doing the school tours, doing my one and two gigs them same way. Even some fest. Yeah. Some fest was the last gig I did. I was seven months pregnant. I'm a back. Yo, you see after that performance, eh? My back kill me like so wow. You yeah, do it before Beyonce and Cardi B. Of course, you know easy. <laughs> None of them start this. Yeah, that's <laughs> some first pregnant. Enough people never yeah, know. Yeah, I want to tell you says after that now the observer pick up and put it out there. Say Rain Civil look like she's pregnant, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. And my pause after that. And then after having her when she was about three months, I went right back on stage. Youth View Awards, I perform everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's why she's so musical. Man. Yes, it in her, man. It in her. <laughs> yeah, man, she got sound fest already. Yeah, she got Youth View Awards. Oh, well, no. I did have her by them time there. It's but yeah. Right. <laughs> Fast forward now, if she's growing up, getting bigger, you would want her to be in the music business also? Um, Knowing yes, the backlashes and all of them, so yes, and no, yeah, yes, because if it's what she genuinely want to do, I am not going to be the one to stop our dream. Okay. I know what that is like for have people around you who don't want you to pursue your goals and that not feel good, Mad. you understand? So, in terms of that, yes, but in terms of the difficulties, the challenges where women can face, they 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 disrespect they being overlooked a lot of the time so the hard work where you put in um i wouldn't want her to experience it true yeah but she's a fighter so she can manage and you would be there to help her because you know the business that is the thing i would be there to guide her i never necessarily have that guidance mm -hmm. so probably the challenge some of the challenges what i face she won't necessarily face them because she gotta have me Probably be our manager at the same yeah. time. Of, but I'm already her. Hold on. Yeah. When she's doing these commercials and these things, who you think sign our contracts and negotiate for? No, mommy. Mommy did the thing <laughs> then. Of course. I mean, mommy. <laughs> manager slash mommy. That's slash right. Yeah. All around. I wear super many mom. hats. Yeah. Thank Holy you. Part, you know? mm -hmm. Yeah. So, all right now. Relationship wise now. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, when you're ready for you business, you know. Yeah, we're in a business oh, no, now. Mix up single, in a re- <laughs> I'm saying, are you single or are you in a relationship? I'm in a relationship. Okay. Are this close with who? Is there somebody popular? No, it's not anybody public. It's not a public figure. Okay. It's just a, a nice, respectable nine to five man that love and respect Rain Civil. Lorraine Civil. Yeah. And yeah. It's an arena in that household. Right. It's it's been a year now and you know it's all going good. All right. Yeah. All right. Back to the music now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that out of the way. Why are you asking? You know, eh? so people in the comment want to know. You oh, understand? Come here say for you. Did you want to open me up with somebody or what? <laughs> okay. <up. laughs> just ask. No hook up. No hook ups. Oh, all right. Another date inside this. <laughs> You have only fans? <laughs> a joke. <laughs> no, I don't. But I'm thinking about doing it. Why? Yeah. No, we need to <laughs> know your only fans. Send it to my WhatsApp <laughs> as you get it. <laughs> okay, cool. Only fans. Rinseville, only fans people. Yeah, Should I think wha- about it? Wha- wha- think about what y'all think? What y'all think? Let me know if I should get one up and running. <laughs> only fans, <laughs> may I tell you. Yeah, all right, back to the music. I try to get back to the music, but we just yeah. ask three every second. <laughs> yeah, no, all right. What you been working on lately? All right, I'm glad you asked me that. So, I'm currently on the Pink Rhythm Juggling, which is an all female juggling. Uno is supposed to see the, the promotion, they're all over the place. Oh, God. But I take over all, all over. We've been on, on stage. We've been on Fame FM, we've been on News Talk, we've been so all over. So city, Miss Sona. Yeah, all, <laughs> all over. Um, we have the medley video for that too. Yeah. Um, my song is called Community. Community body. Community body. Yeah, they all about like road, Miss a Community body. That is my song, Pandaridim. Shall I throw a word? What is that now? Shall I throw a word? Yes, may I throw a word? Yeah, throw a word. Oh, yeah, throw a word, fun. <laughs> <laughs> of, all right, let's be realistic now. Mm-hmm. Them have all kind of name for the woman. Them, yeah, where a woman we might probably have has has had two or three or four partners, or, or right? Ten. Or, or ten. Yes, see, oh, you mix up. But that's what I say. Or, or, two or three, no right, bad. Oh, two and three, no bad. All three right, no bad. fine. A woman will have about ten or twelve yeah, or yeah. right. Mm-hmm. So them have all kind of name for them kind of woman. They don't it. Yeah. Thought. R- not mm. a one. Thought. <laughs> thought. <laughs> Be- oh, yeah. I forget to say this is not a clean thing. We can't talk the things. Em. Yeah. When I call a woman bitch. Bitch. Or. Or. She loose. Slut. Slut. Tramp. Tr- her vagina big. <laughs> All kind of something, right? So community body not really. What? So that's a this? Yes. Enough man want to be community ma- body. You never no, know. No, I'm not. A, hello. A gyalis. Mm-hmm. Or a player mm-hmm. is different from a community body. Yeah, the community body, them are the one them were loose. Okay. Them just go around and go sleep with any little bitch, oh. any little careless girl. Yeah. You yeah, cocky for have class. The cocky after have class. You can't want push on a cocky in everybody, every little loose girl. So it no work. Of standard. Of t- uh, you that see, you know what me a talk about, man. Yeah. You go on like you know what me a talk about. Okay, me just want you clarify. Right, so, so me have know. standard. So community bodies when you're not on a standard. When you're not no standard. Any little ratas. Any bata little bata yes. Bata y- yes, it's just the all about a fuck. All about. And some, enough of these men have them good, good women at home, you know. Yeah. Them nice, decent women at home, and them still their road a while. So them name the community body them. Community body. And may I burn out all of them. Give a piece of it. Not the poor us, <laughs> you know. Piece of verse. Then after me, giddy dirty boy, me heart and soul this. Nasty boy, nah, no self control. Just a push him khaki in a every girl, all real life, man. Or you not the wrong door, cause you fucked Anisha and Keisha for your size of pizza. You call yourself a girl, it's but you're about the speed of meter. I lie your business, say your road like user, social media, user, filthy creature, community khaki. Hey. Gotcha. <laughs> Some of them did know. Yes. Yeah, so we have that project. That Pink. is all now on the Pink Rhythm. Pre- produced by? 
produced by Delamar from RDX. Okay, what right? the producing and all? Yeah, this is actually his first project, and he decided to make it be an all female juggling. So I'm gonna rate him for that. Who, uh, who else is on the, the juggling? Um, you have the Angel, mm -hmm. you have Maka Diamond, you have my sister Pampute, big up yourself. You have um Tall Up, yeah. the dancer who is now an artist. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have Goody Plum, which was formerly Stacy Expression. Dance from dan also. Yes. Um, I have a couple more. Yanni, Curvy Diva, Lisa, Iper. A good amount of them on it, man. And it's nice so far. I mean. Right? And then I have my next project now, which is produced by Ireland Records. That one is called Want It Rough. Okay. That video they dropped when? But last week? Last week or two weeks ago. And that video they are going with itself. <laughs> because <laughs> I go on with myself in the video, you know? So she wants it rough. Yes. May I tell my man say I want it rough. You're lucky, brother. There. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me can sing a piece of them. Sing a piece, no man. You know my want it rough. Boy, just love me all night. Make sure you know left the handcuff. Make sure say book. Cause I no game we are play, we are fuck till your neighbor start cause. Want it rough. And if I hide and sick, just call it hide and sick. You know my want it rough. You know my want it rough. Pussy tight till it both. Yeah. <laughs> tell him what. So that video is out. That video, the man them love that video. Yeah. Come here, go on with beer things in that video. Day. You understand? And the girl them will love the challenge too. You know, I love the odd. The hardcore sex, them so in it too. So you as a female like hardcore sex? It depends. Depends. It depends on the mood. They have the times when me just just deal with me aggressive just deal with me like you know my helicopter yeah i mean deal with me like, like, like interview woman yeah more so woman more interview sometimes i want that mood there and then i have another time when i just want him love me and kiss me and you know tell me i'm in love with me while he must stroke me nicely and softly and all these things <laughs> yeah so yeah it depends upon the mood depends upon our mood yeah <laughs> but like the interview yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell <laughs> who no mean no hey. well, you love the badness too much go on yeah i know badness <laughs> but to the music <laughs> right so that is the second track now and then we have a third track now these are the three songs i'm promoting right right now mm -hmm. money i'm a best friend is the next one that depend on mbr you're familiar with mbr mbr yeah that's a mineral Co boss yes mineral boss Corey, the original boss a mineral boss big up yourself in pass on years ago but him wife yeah, take up boss lady. She had carry on. You carry understand? On name, yeah. I'm a respect her for that. So she about her juggling now, lateral in a juggling. My song Money, I'm a best friend. The one there, money me a talk about now. Me na need no hypocrite friend, me na need no haters. Me just want make my money. Uh, all right. I'm got you. That's right. Will so that that video is gonna be done next month. So you have three projects you three, three right now. main projects i'm working on i'm promoting right so now did a video for the the latter one no that one coming out next month okay. we're doing that one next month okay yes it's not it's a medley are you doing it by yourself no man by myself just the pink rhythm one is a medley so all right get to this corona business you know cause mm -hmm. you want to show them <sighs> and you want to travel trust me and corona just forward and just how you been coping mixed emotions yeah because one minute anxiety take me may i be very honest mm -hmm. one minute anxiety take me i'm feel like oh my gosh me can't do this and then the next minute me just think positive and say all right you know what me i gotta utilize the time and try do some productive stuff okay and it's been working because me now like me getting a lot of recordings um me getting some visuals, which I'm very happy about because the whole of last year, I never put on a visual. Okay. You understand? So, get more time for do some, some yeah, grown work. Right. Now I get for go road. Yeah, so me, get more me now get time. for travel. I now get for um, go out. So I right, know. Almighty yeah. say, rain, civil. Yeah. So, it just happened to be raining right now, and the cameras, them getting. What's she at about wet? Wet. You understand? <laughs> so so I got to change, change location, location and be right back. All right. <laughs> All right. So we had to change location because of the rain. Yeah. It's civil outside. <laughs> you so we changed location and we're inside and we were saying Corona. Mm -hmm. And you were saying anxiety. That's what the word you use. Yeah. Yeah. 
I so, feel anxiety because of Corona. Yeah, sometimes I feel anxiety, yes, because it, it, it really changes up our plans and our schedule, our movement. I am used to traveling a lot. I am used to going to the studio. I am used to going out to do events and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All of that gets flip up. So w what you've been doing to, but to the, stay the, focused? The, the upside of it now is I get for the more recordings. Mm -hmm. But I don't go to studios. When we used to not care if studio crowded, mm -hmm. no. May I call, may I book my studio time, and I ask the engineer to make sure I'm me alone there at the studio. Okay. You Social understand? distance. Yeah, I take it serious, man, because I have a daughter and me have my mother who I care about and I can't risk. It's not just about me, it's about them too. Family, you know, very yeah. family orientated. Of know? course. Let's so I'm doing more recordings, so that's a good thing. And I get the opportunity for the more visuals too. You understand? Know, Utilize the time and do more videos. Uh, about cooking. Oh, yeah. oh, Lord, definitely more cooking, yeah, especially with new man. Oh. Yes, my love, when you have man, mm. yes, you just oh. cook a galak. When you live with man, you have to do these things, girls. So, I'm sorry for the woman out there, the woman them out there, can't cook. Hey, I'm sorry for no, because personally speaking, I have to cook every day, yeah, which I don't mind because okay. me used to cook, but not every day. Now I have to cook every day and it, it work out to a cheaper in a sense than when you go out go buy food and all these things. So yeah. So Corona is good in a sense. Then, yeah, it, for it, it have it the certain adjustments that we needed to make mm -hmm. are beneficial. Eye opener too. Eh? Kind of eye opening. Yeah, of course it eye opening. Yeah. It eye Probably opening. save a lot of money. Not the mm, time frame. If if it, if, it, if, it, if it are coming <laughs> same way, it has saved because less things to do. Yeah, it, it teach you off a budget. Well yeah. it teach me off a budget because me and Leo, you know, me love spend. Yeah. You yeah. understand? Oh, that's July, late July. July. Right. Okay. Me love spend. You understand? So since it's a corona thing, money now come in like one time. Mm -hmm. So you know we have a budget and buy the things that are needed. You know, and so far me I go on with myself. You know, me not go on too bad. All right, yeah, <laughs> chef up. We're now on power. If I come up at uh, up at the place one night time of and watch course, your cook. Of course, of course. Do no an episode with your cook and you understand? No problem. That's that's a that's a plan. Anytime you're ready. Rinse <laughs> with share work. <laughs> share work. Share do the music. Share say pink rhythm. And go check yes. out that. May I say money I'm my best friend because money is always needed. Mm -hmm. And may I say I want it rough in the pandemic here. Shut mm -hmm. up about the man them <laughs> where I eh? See, no, I want to tell everybody. Say, no, for the man them get not no, you know, the one them where did I give on. Yeah. Them get knock you now, you know, because the mafia stay home with wifey, you know. Yeah. Them can't link the side woman them, you know, because pandemic and curfew. And I tell you, say, link before the curfew. <laughs> <laughs> before curfew. Yeah, Where is the link before curfew? The schedule. And some know saying bad, you know. You, me, you. A good rasta. Yeah, do your thing. A good rasta. <laughs> Don't listen, she. <laughs> Because she's single about community body. Right. So that she a promote right now. <laughs> so she a try to put me. Why oh, you never come for the yeah, video? Yeah, then? Me she come for the you video. You know what? Next performance, I have like, you know, because we'll go at this, we'll go at the radio stations and go do promotions. Yeah. Next one of those, I have, are you mega call? All right. Mm -hmm. Community body representation. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're proud of it. <laughs> and I say pro, I just uh, you know, embrace your music. Oh, okay. Just embracing good quality music. All right. Pink Rhythm, I'm going to check it out. Rainsville, I'm going to check out for your Instagram to see him. We yeah. see the work that she has put in because she's been doing it from she left UTech. Yes. Were you there? <laughs> if you don't know about Rain, you know, no. go outside when the cloud them out. I know, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't know about Rain, you don't know about Blessing. You don't know about the Blessing. You know, easy. <laughs> yeah, into film. What you think about going to that that R and B flavor? We know you have. What you think about recording some songs like that in the near uh, future? Um, I actually do have some of those. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have one for ZJ Steel. That I think on the ear a little piece of it earlier when you guys came here. I was doing that in the studio. Mm -hmm. So that one is going to be released um, very soon. And I want to do an EP with just straight singing. R&B singing because that's my 
that how I originate from. Yeah. You understand? My sound originate from R&B. Mm -hmm. So I plan to do an EP early next year with just music like that. Okay. But you know, me a Jamaican. Our culture is reggae and dancehall. So my Africa can be diverse and switch it up. Definitely. And you mm -hmm. do it very well. Thank you. Yeah, man. You're, you're bad. Thank you're bad for you. real, man. <laughs> see, see the, our DJ tone. I got my love. Thanks. You see me? Community body. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop seeing the one there, right? <laughs> yeah, tell about that something, the one. All right, no, you said artist-wise, no, because mm. you can't just sit down and listen to yourself alone. Right. So, who inspire you? Who you listen to? Um, the number one person, as I say, R and B are my original love. Yeah. So it's definitely Whitney Houston. Yeah. You understand? And then there's Beyonce, you now mm -hmm. who have the pop. She's R and B slash pop. You understand? Because you can't tell me some of my Beyonce sister, you know. Yeah. When I go on stage. A Solange. When me in a, no, not Solange. <laughs> no, I love Solange, though, you know. No disrespect to Solange. Remember where you were just said that. <laughs> but you can't tell me my Beyonce yeah. when I dress up and go on stage and all these things. So, yeah, definitely Beyonce. Whitney and Beyonce. Um, mm. Locally, like our culture-wise, mm -hmm. I'd have to say Diana King, Tanya Stevens, Lady, Lady Saw. Yeah. Lady saw you hear that? Well, now Marion Hall. Lady saw you hear that? Yes. Now Marion Hall, yeah. You listen to Marion Hall? <laughs> Don't poop up on the spot. <laughs> all right. Um, for be honest, not every not all of her current work. Okay. But there's there's one that she recently did a video for where she's singing about war with the de if the devil want war or she ready and she in her army suit and everything. I like that one there. So big up yourself. See, like you don't listen to no male artist, though. No, I listen to male Oh, gosh, don't do me that. No, because I'll I be a female artist, you just say. Yeah, because guess what now? Me empower is, is a empower, empowering strategy, tactic. Yeah. You understand? Because the males them always get recognition. I deliberately say, all right, my need for recognize the woman then because I am a woman. Yeah. You understand? So that is that was a deliberate move of mine. Okay. But um, in terms of male, I love um, Sizzler's music, Bojo, um, Vibes Cartel, of course. Yeah. You know, the bounties, the, big, the giant them. You know, I respect all of them. I'm going to take something from all of them and, you know, put it to my career. Okay, mm -hmm. makes sense. You say no. Who would you like to do a collab with? Um, and this is not just locally, right? Worldwide. Beyonce. B. Yeah, that's my girl. Hey. Beyonce. Any of me and her depend on stage a problem. You put a ring on it. You saw the two hours sexy. Yeah, that. You saw the two hours say when you come out in our outfit and go on with yourself. Beyonce, a problem. Yeah. Beyonce, you're watching. You subscribe. <laughs> That's right. You know what I mean? And subscribe to my Vivo to Rain Civil Vivo, yeah girl. Hey Rain, the normal in the normal our music them at too. And Thank I, and you. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't just cash it up on the show either. Rain, no man, you it. always show me love. I want thing with you. Yeah. I'm I forget the props for that. You always you always include me in any little thing. You and JJ Weasel. I'm a respect enough for that. Yeah, do it. I wanna see you go further. Thank you. You see me so that we do inside the music we have to link up with her. That's right. So so alright, you have you have all plans in order. Everything look organized. You have a management team? Um currently no. Yeah, I do this all alone. Currently I'm just yeah, and you know I have I have support system in the sense that I have my little charge them when I can call and say, yo, I'm going to take on an interview now. When the role come with me. Mm -hmm. You understand? I have studios when I can come, like Ireland Studio and Esco. You know, you, you know Esco, of course, yeah. left side and Esco. Mm -hmm. I can call them and say, yo, and them say, come rain, this is your home. You understand? But in terms of like official management, no. Um, people contact me usually through my social media pages mm -hmm. and my email raincivil at gmail.com and we get the business done if anything we turn it over to headline come here headline them cool booking agency and you know them deal with it or me just deal with somebody by myself yeah yeah hard working woman yeah well, i have to do it you know because i guess what 
I may have to pay my bills, I may have to take care of my daughter and my passion. So I have to do my thing until the real team come round for back my thing. What do you think it takes to get a real team? <clears throat> um, just to be to continue working. Um, it has to do with them too because they are for mentally prepared and uh, have the knowledge you can manage an artist because yeah. it's not an easy job, especially a woman artist. You know, yeah, so a woman artist take a take a whole leap, you know. Um, in terms of what? In what you are talking about? All right, a woman artist to me, if you're working with a woman artist, it takes makeup, hair, yeah, clothes, yeah. appearance is a, is a must with a female artist. You can't just go pick her up. Well, if a late show, you're going to reach some of the time because she are here not do yet. Yeah. Right. And as a manager for a female artist, you have to spend more. Because yeah. The maintenance. It's a woman. It's true. You understand? So it's true. That's sometimes a woman feel like male producers are fight them out when really I, I think that and really fight out you know, is probably just a bigger task where them can manage or maintain well, a lot it, of them. In, the, in terms of producers, I'm mean, see how that would have like no. them not for about getting our hair and no, makeup on them someday done. I mean, them just manager. have a voice up on them ready. I meant manager. Oh, okay. I'm mean manager. manager now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that is true still. It, it takes more investment. Me. And sometimes the returns not necessarily as big as with a male artist. Me can be honest and say that. Yeah. You understand? Sometimes when you book a male artist for you're not gonna necessarily book a female artist for that amount. Yeah. Um but we are just as talented. Some of the time we're more hard working too. You understand? And if managed the right way, we can reach further than the man them too. Definitely. Because you have female artists that bigger than male artists. Yes, right, right now. now. Yeah. As we speak. Yeah. You understand? So it, it bias, but at the same time, you just have to work harder. Yeah. And that didn't push yeah. you to do. Mm-hmm. And since any female artists out there, just know that. Mm-hmm. Work twice just, as hard. Just keep working. You know what I mean? Work twice as hard because it it's not easy. I see yeah. it. Come see over the years, I see it. She's bad, you know. And then you know, see the, the leverage. It's true. And I say, oh, she now get the leverage. We don't know if we have something to do with just say, oh, yeah, she's, I sex them or sex off the female artist them. Some of that. Some of it are that too. Yeah, talk about that. Some of it are that too. Talk about um, the part there. Because a lot of them, some of them, because you have some proper producers out there who are professional and them voice and everything. But you have some of them always try to step to you. Them use voice in you as the, the, the door. The opening door. Yeah. And then as soon as you walk through the door. Then or them walk through the door. Then they feel like say okay. Make us switch it now and go towards intimacy. Mm-hmm. You understand? And when them say you're not necessarily up to that. Then them not really get the time of day again. Yeah. Or them not push your, your project the way how them supposed to push it. Show your attack. Mm-hmm. You know, really, hear female artists talk about that side of the music. That's still really. You know, really hear them a complain. So some of them a comply. <laughs> I guess. I know you have to ask them. <laughs> yes, I don't have to ask. I know about that. You don't know about, <laughs> about that one. There. No okay, sir. Okay, she don't know nothing about that one. There. <laughs> oh, that one over her head. Over. Yeah, yeah, Rain. You've been a beautiful. What me for say? A beautiful day. Yeah, a beautiful <laughs> a day. A beautiful interview. Beautiful interview. Yes. And Anything else you want to ask me? Anything you want to ask me? Hmm. Let's see. Never been in this position. <laughs> Why is it? I put you up on the spot. Yeah, I never. Me hmm. Give you an opportunity for putting me up on the spot. Which female artist would you... All right, which which female artist you have a crush on? Let's be realistic. No? Let's be make we keep it distant. Which female artist may have a crush on? Yeah, have a little thing for. Hmm, nothing but that one. Yeah, you know, you're a dream boat, I right, say, so, you know. Hmm. Have, you know, make she feel more like wife. a you, you know. Ah, <laughs> stop <laughs> it. <laughs> No, I'm really thinking about that. You stop it. Are you I are you not just said that coming there, so no, a real thing. Oh. A real civil may have a crush upon her. Okay, okay. We come okay. out in the public now. Okay. Real, uh, I mean, one of the times you say, like Rasta, something I said, you know what? You see, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, 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 you
<laughs> but I would make. Yeah, yeah, my other little thing, my other little thing for us, yeah, yeah, So yeah, 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 me a bit of a chance. Yeah, see the brother there, that one year brother there. Let's, we, we are cooked for. <laughs> let's talk cook, off um, the air now. Vegetable no? food and something. Yeah, we can, we can do a thing. All right, people must send me there. Yeah. I look oh man before the interview. <laughs> yeah. I know them stay. But anyway, people, <laughs> Rainsville, get them, get them Instagram now, your Facebook, our platforms. All right, so Instagram at Rainsville, R A I N E S E V I L L E. Twitter, the same thing. Rainsville Vivo from a Vivo channel. Facebook, Rainsville Music. What else? Which other social media platform they bought? Those are the ones Twitter. I use right now. Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah. Twitter the same thing as Instagram, Rain Civil. Alright, you know somebody forget to ask you something. The viewers oh. questions. Alright. I understand. This is from this is from Craig. Hi Craig. I understand. Would you ever think about doing directing or producing? I oh I'm actually glad Craig asked me that. I have done production. Okay. I do have my label that's Civil Records. Um yeah, they put my Instagram and you see the things I'm gonna do with my daughter, right? The yeah. the songs them and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of those I produce them. Okay. So any music at all we come out with my daughter, they put my label. Label name? Civil Records. Civil Records. Records. Yeah, so all the songs with me and her do named Big Up Jamaica. Civil records. She have a song named Ambition. Ambition, you feel have ambition. Ambition, you feel have ambition. Don't form fool, you feel have ambition. Stay in school, you feel have ambition. Yeah, that's on my label too. That my daughter sing. Yeah. Alright, this one is from Blackwood. Um, does he have any plans? Does she have any plans to do any work with Lady Saw this year? That's kind of mm. contrary. Yeah, that one, that kind of... Yeah, but you kind of do gospel. I, mean, I could have gospel. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It could be gospel. You're right. Funny enough, me and my engineer did a talk about this earlier. Um, it's possible. Yeah. It's definitely possible. I would love that. You know, Marianne Hall, she's a legend. True. You know, she's a queen, and that would be an honor to do a song with her. But um, nothing in the works. I haven't spoken to her. Since she transition. I haven't spoken to her. She delete the number? No, <laughs> I don't know if she delete my number, <laughs> but you know, because she in that world she now, said, I think you know, she, she kind of done it everywhere. You know, I, I, I think that. she's just communicating <laughs> less with you know, with this side of the world, but it's still love, same way. Yeah, Marin, all big up yourself. <laughs> yeah, reach out to the dad's all. <laughs> no, something good, dad. Mm, yeah, a man alone for reach out, eh? Love that. Oh. Okay. Love that. Big her up on the big pool around my backyard. They have so, they feel like they do. Mm. Big mansion in the hills she got. Yeah. And then just a Christian point there. Which is right. You did it. <laughs> so we want to see her do it too. Yeah, of course. And that is definitely the aim. And with no form of disrespect for even go higher. Yeah. You understand? That is the aim. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Speak up the fans them no man cause we are wrap it up. All right, so big up to my fans, my day one fans from from the very beginning, from that sake of time, rain civil fans. Big up on yourself. Big up the new fans them and big up the people them who are gonna become fans after this. Much love. Make sure you follow my social media and keep in tune to what Rain Civil is going on with. Big up on yourself. All right, we're wrapping up because she said after the air, you know, so I'm going to try to speed it up. Off the air time, people. Go on, yeah. Belper time inside the music. Rain <laughs> Seville. Bang. Boom! Belper time production. Big up to all of my viewers all over the world. You don't know. Big up to all who lock into Pelper Time TV over the years. You don't know. Link with and you get your music video shoot, direct and edit, your wedding, your funeral, party, stage show. Photo shoot, you name it. So just check the information on the screen and lock in to Pelpa Time TV production. Big up on yourself. Pelpa TV. Pelpa Time. Pelpa Time. Room, 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 room. Pelpa Time production. Pelpa Time. Pelpa Time production. The Pelpa TV for Pelpa Time. It's a Pelpa Time. You know it's that time. Pelpa Time TV. And governor representing of Pelpa Time. You know. Pelpa Time. You know what the thing tough.
I win a Sepelpa time, I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa time thing with no coffee. Give me a Pelpa time, and I represent for you. With Pelpa time. Pelpa time right now. Oh, Pelpa time, I want to them. them. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. Down for Pelpa time productions. Pelpa time production. It does represent for Pelpa TV. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. Yell yeah, them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about. Pelpa time, keep it locked. Come represent the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa TV, our TV. It's Pelpa time TV, cross. Pelpa time protection. Mm.